Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com Today you're joining me on board good old narrowboat Abel's Ark for a look at a perfectly normal evening of narrowboat life Normal for me at least And the first thing you may notice is that we've got the engine running in the background so you can hear a few rattles and obviously the sound of the engine itself and basically what that's doing is charging up the batteries that power things like the lighting, the water pumps and of course the actual sockets in the water plug, things like my phone to charge and laptop and stuff like that too. Now it's not even seven o'clock in the evening yet but as it is very late October, well if I lift this up, if I lift this up, there got it the second time, you can see it is very dark out there and it's pretty chilly out there as well so I think we're going to have a very quick trip just down to the local supermarket to get a few basic supplies like bottles of water and stuff like that and then we'll come and sit back and enjoy an evening on board. Okay so as you can see we've got a very bright torch to take with us when we go out down the dark old towpath and well I would say that a bright torch is something that is very very advisable when you're out cruising on the canals especially over these dark winter nights. So as you can see, out on the towpath itself, it is extraordinarily dark. So much so that even with the lights, the camera can't pick up the boat that's right next to us. Um, but this is why, like I say, having a good torch or maybe a couple of them just in case, always a very good idea on board a boat. It is a, a very chilly night. Oh, looks like somebody's coming towards us. Or am I just shining something at a reflection? <laughs> okay, that was a good indication of what I say when I talk about it being very dark out here. But it wasn't a reflection of a, a random object. It was actually a person that I was shining the torch directly at. But as you can see, we're on the little bridge here at the Ellesmere Basin. It's a nice little white painted metal bridge.
Right then, my friends. Now that it's after 11 p.m., I am finally, finally in the shower. Don't know why I did that and let the water go straight out onto the floor. But it's so nice being able to get in and have this proper piping hot water. You can hear the shower pump pumping the water out into the canal from beneath my feet in the background here. And well, as it's uh, shower time, I'm going to just enjoy a moment of proper nice piping hot warm water. Oh, lovely. It's going to feel very cold when I come out though, I've got a feeling, even though the boat's roasting. So now we're all washed and changed and ready for bed, it's just a simple case of tidying up. I think I'll fold my clothes up and put them through into the living room, ready to wake up tomorrow morning and run through and put on. Uh, I'll stack the fire up with a good bit of coal, so I think it's going to be a very, very cold night as the night wears on. And uh, yeah... Ooh, it's spooky looking down the side of the uh, bathroom there to the living room. Um, I think we'll just have a have a quick nose outside and then we'll really feel the benefit of a nice warm boat when we come back in. But yeah, you can see we've just got the slight little glow of the uh, fireplace there. Let's, let's zoom in and have a closer look. Got the door open at the minute just while I was getting dried after stepping out of the shower. Lovely. And so that obviously is a nice bed really going well there. So as many bits of coal as I want to put it, put on. And if it wasn't already warm and up to a good temperature in the boat now, I would throw in maybe one or two logs at this point as well, just to get that faster sort of burning heat out into the boat. But I don't think we need that at the minute. I think we're on a 20, 21 degrees. So yeah, definitely uh, feeling the heat on board. I always think it's particularly cosy when you see the lights on inside your own boat. I don't know if you can tell, my friends, just how much mist is rising up off the canal here. You can probably see that quite well on the screen there. But that's rising right up if we use the size of our boat as a uh, guide of how high the torch is. You can see that the mist is easily visible well up to head height and well above if, if I say that's pointing upwards into the air about maybe a, that's about a 45 degree angle so you can see maybe even see the direction of the flow there all the tiny little moisture particles in the air and here we are my friends nice and tidy ready for the morning as you can see, looking a little bit dark over there, but ultimately ready for a good night. Just a case now of brushing my teeth, hopping in bed and hopefully drifting off sometime between midnight and 1am. I mean, let me look at that. I don't know if uh, it's just because I'm here, here feeling the heat roaring out of this. But that almost looks warm on the screen as I'm filming it. Oh my goodness me, that is very, very warm. I suppose at this night, at this night, at this time, I shall say goodnight to you all, my friends, and wrap this video up. As always, check the links in the description to find me all over the place on social media and stuff like that. Please do consider checking out my books that are available for the Kindle and as a paperback and... One of them even as a little audio book that I recorded myself many years ago. And well, I suppose I'll just say, have an absolutely fantastic time. Keep it boatworthy. Keep it interesting. Have a fantastic day. And of course, my friends, farewell. <laughs>